Thanks for tuning in to the Dope Vision Experience Podcast. Your boy Frank Nitty. I'm back for another episode. You know how we do. We come with that year-end wrap-up, man. But this year, I got an extra guest with me. You know, he saw some of our previous work, and he wanted to jump on, so I had to definitely tap in with him. Man, I got my boy Meech with me. What up, Meech? Big Meech. Yes, sir. What's good, Gucci, man? What's Gucci, good? Gucci. How y'all doing? And I also got my boy Wallace. You already know Wallace from the town. You know, he be rocking with me. You know, we come with this so the we come with this year in wrap up. Happy, happy holidays. Yeah, you too, bro. Happy holidays, you too, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You yes, know sir. how we do this year in wrap up, man. We got to get our top fives in here. These are album who we've been listening to. You know, we all be kind of in the chat talking, but we don't really necessarily get down to the nitty gritty. So this is our opportunity to kind of tap in with each other and see what, uh, what our music taste looking like. Like we say every year, man, this is our music taste. If you don't like it, you know you got to deal with it. <laughs> tap in, hit us, <laughs> hit us in talk. the comments. Let us know who, who, you, who you're not agreeing yeah, absolutely, with. Absolutely, man. Yeah. You know how we do it. So we're going to do a round robin, man. We're going to go through. We're going to do our thing. You know, the first thing we're going to pop off, we're going to jump off here with this uh, top five artists of the year, the top five albums of the year. You know what I'm saying? We're going to throw it to Meech first. Let's see what Meech music taste looking like. Let's go, Meech. Yes, sir. Woo, woo. So, all right. So, I'm going to give you guys my top five. Listen, this is not in any order, but I really think that these guys really had an impact this year, man. Um, you know, being as just the, the wide variety of um, music that's out there nowadays, from drill music to, you know, down and dirty hip hop, you know, storytelling. I'm really big on storytelling. So a lot of things that you'll see me talk about is going to be more lyrical driven. Right. And I do got some I do got some bops some yeah. nice 808s and stuff like that. But to kick out, my first one is Conway mm. um, from Buffalo. Um, his album was early on in the year. Um, God, don't make mistakes. Um, to me, that album was 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 one of the best ones that was um that came out this year. Well put together album. The project was, man, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys got a chance to really just go through it, dive deep into it. Some of the tracks were um, in the top 100, so they got some plays like um, Scatterbrain. That was the, the joint with Ludacris. Um, but for the most part, man, oh, also Stress. A lot of people listen to the song Stress because okay. Wallow was at the end talking, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't yeah. know if y'all the outro to that joint which was really mm-hmm. nice um and the interior gas the the feature that he had with um with rick ross and lil wayne man it was a dope it was just a well put together project um number four like i said again not really going in any order i uh, put my guy hey, future, man. Um, future down south legend yeah man yep. yeah, yeah yeah i never liked you Really, um, really well put together album, man. So, um, I ain't gonna dive deep into that because yep. a lot of that is mainstream, and people just, you know, people live their life off of future. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't think I necessarily have to go into depth with, you know, with with a lot of things that he did. But I definitely had to put him in there. Uh, my next one is yep. man, Push a T. You mm-hmm. know, um, it's almost dry. The almost That's dry album to me. I will say this. I will say this. Um. It wasn't better than Daytona to me, but you know what I'm saying? Just because of the way Day- Daytona was put together, Kanye produced that entire album. Kanye is going to have a lot more 808s, and, and, and the drum patterns are just totally different than the collaboration he had with Pharrell and um, Kanye. So I don't know if you guys did yep, notice that. Did. They yeah. split that yep. album half yep. and half. Kanye did have, and then Pharrell did have. Me, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a fan of Kanye. Yeah, I like the Yeah. Um, I, I like do. The yeah I love half. Pharrell. I, like the yeah I love half, the uh, Me personally, I like the Yeah half, but I think he did a little bit better on that. My, me personally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So most definitely, man. But again, you know, pushing on never, um, you know, leave you, leave you dry with the with the lyrics, the content, just you know, just giving you that that. That outside looking in, you know, um, that that dope boy feel make you want to get out, hustle, get motivated by listening to. Man, so, I think do you on that album though? Do you, I think Kanye did have the better half, but Pharrell might have had the better song. I feel like out of the whole project, like all together. So, what was your favorite track off of that joint? Man, I gotta say, uh, was it the one I might be thinking about? Um. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, okay. I'm thinking about the wrong album. I'm thinking about the one before that, the one with him, 
What was the one with him and his brother? He's like, you're going to die. I don't know. I got to look at the name of it. Oh, so, we, so Malice was on that. So Malice was on that joint too. Yeah. It was the last track on that album. So that may be the one that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think that. I think. I think that was my. I pray uh, for you. Hold up, I'm about to look right I now. I pray for you. That's the one Malice huh? was on. I pray for yep. you. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that was my favorite track. That that was my okay, favorite track. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, and, and no lie, that that's not a, that's not a bad track yeah. at all. So when I went through the list, I wanted to go through, and that wasn't. Um, the, the ones that, again, that didn't play in the top 100s, yeah. right? Uh, I'm Like I said, I'm more lyrical driven. I really want to get to see what they're talking about. Man, to be honest with you, one of my favorite ones is Call My Bluff. Yeah. And, of course, Hear Me Clearly. But the Diet Coke, man, like the Diet Coke, of course, that was everybody's, was you know what I'm saying, yeah, theme song for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So that was the one rang out. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday's yeah. price is not today's yeah, yeah, price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, it has some good beats on it. But I just think, you know what I'm saying, um, with Ye sampling and stuff, I just think his sampling is just was a little bit better on that project to me. I just thought his sampling and, his, and the way he kind of put the samples together and stuff like that, along with you know Pusher's voice and vocals yeah. and bars, it kind of just went it like just went hand in hand. You know, you know he can work good with Pusher. Like when him and Pusher get in get in there together, they work so well together. Like they play off each other with the beats, the samples, the vocals, yeah. the bars. It just goes so good together. Yeah, and then sometimes yeah, for real, kinda, sometimes kinda for real get kind of off the beat and path with his beat sometimes, and it kind of throw me. But you know, well, yeah, he kind of like he got that he can hone in with with um with push a little bit better. Yeah, I, yeah, no, yeah. you're definitely right. I, I agree like, with that. I, I like, I, with but that. well, Pharrell, I feel like Pharrell brought that grinding push back, grinding pushing malice back with that, with that. You know that man, especially with like the last track. I just love how. Malice and push, they was going like really. If you didn't know, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know who started and who stopped when it was going back and forth. You was like, oh, like yeah. you know what I mean. You really had to yeah. know <laughs> to know like, okay, this is Malice right here. I'm surprised he you know, got him. They I'm surprised just, he got him right. on the track. Yeah, I'm yeah, surprised yeah. he got him on the track. You know, as much as he's been like yeah. not want to rap, you know what I'm saying. But I'm surprised he actually got talked him into getting on the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, he has been has doing he? more music lately, though. Uh, Malice yep. has been doing more music lately. Um, he did um, a couple tracks on that Nico album yeah. too. Yep, and he got a lot of writing creds on that um, Kanye joint. So he's been doing. He's been getting a lot more um, active, going back into it, um, getting back into it. And just to bring that up, to be honest with you, Malice has always been my favorite out of the really? clips. To really? be honest okay. with you, okay. I just got to okay. throw that out there. Yeah, Malice has always been my favorite out of the clips, bro. Like always, just you know, I'm saying hands down. Mm-hmm. So cool. Moving on along, um, my this one, I'm gonna put this one um, number two. Okay. Um, the Freddie Gibbs Ooh. Soul Soul Simple. Ooh. I don't know if y'all really dive yes, deep sir. into it, and I'm gonna tell you something too. <clears throat> I was. I was at odds about it, man, and I'm going to tell you why. I've been a Freddie Gibbs fan since, man, Babyface Gangster. I've been riding with Gibbs for a long, long time through Pinata, through a lot of projects that he's done. Man, but just lately, I'm going to tell you, man, him and Benny, the cattiness that's going on between them, man, I don't know what's going on. They need to chill out. But, man, they make great music together, great. you know, for one. But, you know, I kind of fell off, man, because I'm like, man, listen, Freddie, everybody that you, you do music with, with you, can't, you, you can't beef with them or it can't be their fault, right? Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, everything is his fault or anything like that. But it's just like, man, it's just so controversial when it comes to him and his stuff outside yeah. of music. Yep. That's nothing to really do with the music. It's just stuff outside of the music. And it's just like, man, come on. So I'm going to tell you, I was kind of delayed a few weeks on it, but he is my guy when it comes to lyrics yeah. and things like that, man. But I tell you, he definitely didn't disappoint. And the way this one was put together, too, I really liked it. It had a storyline to it that really just, you know, it made you want to listen to each and every track on it. But my favorite track, of course, is um, is Gold. I don't want to misquote it. Um Oh, my bad. Gold rings, but CIA. Ooh. I don't want to. I definitely don't want to. 
that was CIA, like, that's that's my favorite. I, I, CIA. I had to stop myself. I had to stop myself. I don't want to um overlook nope, CIA. It's the um, for everybody that's <laughs> listening, the CIA track goes Ooh, crazy. Goes crazy. Um, it's very controversial. Mm-hmm. Um, the CIA, in his standpoint, is in the Central Intelligence Agency. Is you know this is what the government gave yeah. us: crack, Instagram, and AIDS. So it, it was to me it was a, it was a dope track, man. But um, but yeah, Gibbs, I, I got to put Gibbs in um in that top five for this mm-hmm. year. Um, did you have? No, nah, man, you know, want to add on that front real quick? You know, I Gibbs is what is not. You know, what I'm saying I ain't the biggest Gibbs fan. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying sometimes his hey, sometimes right I, be, I be kind of getting into him, especially when he kind of like pop in because he did a project I think with Currency or something. I think he did with this year. And then, um, you know, yeah. I kind of listened to him a little bit like that, but I've never been the biggest Gibbs fan. But I know Wallace always, you know, so he always been rocking with Gibbs. Hey, Gibbs, I feel like Gibbs is so, his range is so, I feel like Gibbs can have, he got tracks to where he can get like in the, in the, in the, um, in the small session, put a suit on, have a band playing, and Gibbs can still, you know what I mean? Because his music is, that's in his, but then he can still get in a big venue. With the eight oh eights, you know, with then he got tracks like with Jada, Jada yeah, Kiss. Yeah. You know, his range is so and he has bars. Like he got he got bars, you know. So he, I mean, like 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 me said, he has a lot of outside to where he outside distractions where he be always beefing yeah. or talking crazy. I think that's what overshot right. his work to me, you know, so all the stuff that he be doing yeah. outside of his music. He be with Ack and he going with Benny, Jeezy, yeah, and uh, yeah. uh um what his name? Uh Jim Jones down down in Miami. It's just so much outside the music. Yeah, yeah. That kind of be make me overshadows. Yeah, Jesus, that was so, he, so much stuff going outside of his yeah. music that overshadows it for me. And then when I listen to him, I be like, yeah. I be kind of trying to get into it, but not always. So, but I know Wallace, you know what I'm saying? That's Wallace be heavy on the gears. I can't, you know what I'm saying? He be heavy man. on the gears. Hey, <laughs> hey, Freddie Kane. Yeah, man, gears is dope. Hey, and just to throw this out here too, he also to me had one of the best hooks last year too. On that Benny the Butcher um, album, when he when he featured on that joint, he was like, "Man, hey!" He told a chick, "Like, hey, you gonna cry in the back yeah, of the Toyota Maybach. on his Maybach?" <laughs> hey, he put he put a lot of things in perspective, man, right? I was, I was so, hoping um, him and Benny but, the Butcher would get put an album together, man. That'd have been, been hard. I feel like that would be man insane. That'd be insane. But I don't think nah, we're gonna get yeah, that anytime yeah. soon, right? All right. Last but not least. Listen, um, I got to put this in for the fans, okay, right? Okay. So, last but not least, Drake hey, in twenty one. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta throw that one in. Her loss, you know, um, that was that's an interesting one, um, man. And you know, to be honest with you, I really like the collab. I'm not gonna even lie to you. The collab was really nice. Oh, man, um, half of the album was really, really dope. But, of course, half of the album is going to be for the ladies because Drake is going to do his singing yeah. and all that other jazz, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's certainly cool. But, um, man, I um, I did enjoy it overall. I ain't going to lie to you. It's probably one of the most, the more listened to um, projects that Drake has put out that I personally went and listened to. And actually – seeked it out i actually went and i listened to it myself personally it wasn't anything that i heard tracks that were played over the radio or anything like that i actually went and checked it out multiple okay. times so that you know that speaks volumes for me so of course, yeah i'm a 21 fan anyway. so i had to listen to it and i feel like drake kind of he be finding those artists to kind of so he can rap like he'll get with future you know what I'm saying? He'll put out a, a collab project with Future so he can know he can come rap, rap, rap. You know, because when he do a lot of his albums by himself, he can do a lot of singing because he got a global audience. So he had to, he got to do a lot of a lot of stuff on his albums. But when he get with the rappers like Future or 21, he can actually, you know, rap on the album and not be looked at as like, hey, I got to do a, I got to carry the album with all his singing. And so 21 come in and do his thing and they can kind of play off each other. So the album was a solid album, you know. I definitely gave it some plays on it. It gets some replay, and it got a good replay value on it. Got a good replay because of because of because yeah. the uh, the beats and everything on the mm-hmm. production on it is real nice on it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't listen to that. I mean, I only listen to the cover. I'm not. I'm really not a big uh, this late latest like Drake fan like that because he said all the singing. I was like, come on, Drake. You know, like before, like Drake used to. Everybody used to head on because he was commercial, right? He was soft, but you know, I didn't care about none of that, but. Like before, Drake used to you get them bars. Yeah, hits. get them bars. Like, he, yeah, he got like the bars in them, but like I, like I said, he, his his audience so global 
that he can't just rap, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He got he got to cuz he competing with artists like Bad Bunny, you know what I'm saying? So that's probably why he put out that the um never lo- what was true. it? Never mind or something like that with like house music or yeah. whatever. So yeah, yeah so the, you know what I'm saying? Cuz his, his music yeah. is global. He got he over in Europe and Australia, so he's not just US anymore. So he got to kind of make that wide, you know, broad, you know, music. Yeah. So sometimes rap fans that. don't really uh, like that because we want to hear him rap, you know. So when he do get in his bag and rap yeah. like with 21, we kind of like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Put your bars out there. Yeah. yeah. Man, that was a, right. I like 21. Right. I like 21. 21 is 21. Yeah, 21. Right? You know, some people are going to be like, oh, I'm going to try to jump out because, uh, I mean, nah, 21 going to give you that. 21 is like, to me, is like, him and Metro. Yeah. If he ain't got nothing with Metro, I don't even want to hear. It. Like I don't even want to hear. It. Like yeah, I don't want to hear. It. If he ain't on there with Metro Boomin, it's like, hey. God, he with this. I'm like, hey, right. but Twenty One bring hey, the best out of him though. Hey, but Twenty One bring the best out of Drake though. He whenever they on, whenever they work together, yeah. okay. he bring the mm-hmm. best out of Drake because he know he got to bring bars because because Twenty One hey. bringing them bars. Hey, and I will say this too. What shocked me is. That twenty one seven yeah. Nas track was nice. Mm. Yeah, that, they they had he had to go and put that together that real. They put that together nice real quick, like you know what I'm saying. After the comments, what he made about, I think it was misunderstood mm-hmm. what he was trying to say, and Nas didn't take it in you know ill way. So he was just like, hey, let's just let's get together, let's work, young fella, and let's let's put some music out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that was pretty. Nas was not. Nas was like, yeah, let's get together, and work, young know, fella. Did not show you. What I know, right? Yeah, he, went he went hard. He went hard. I show you. He went hard. I show you what's happening. He did go hard on. He did go hard on. I show you what's happening. Show you what's happening. Hey, that was a. Who's Nas? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Hey, but that was a super solid list, man. I like that you got Conway, yeah. Future, Pusha T, Freddie Gibbs, and Drake. You know, what I'm saying 21 album. That's a solid list. So, Wallace, we're gonna throw it your way, man. Let's hear what your top five looking like. Your top five uh, artists. Let's get it. All right, I'm. I'm gonna start it off like me said. I don't. I don't. I don't have like. This is not by order. This is just my top five. You know who I like. So I'm gonna start off with uh, what was it? I'm gonna start off with the Nas album. The Nas, uh, what was King it? Disease King, Disease King Disease yeah. Three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the oh. King Disease Three. I was never a big Nas fan, never a big Nas fan. And, um, you know, just like everybody, a lot of, well, a lot of people say back in the day, Nas, we all, always knew Nas had bars. Never know, uh, never know discussion about that. But just as sometimes his production was a little subpar, I, I'm going to say, you know, like, uh, okay, you know, but man, he got over Hit Boy. Man, Hit Boy gave him them Hit Boy some track. Hey, I'm gonna say this too, real What's quick. That? I'm not gonna lie, the first two were good. They mm-hmm. were good. The King Disease one was was legit. It got my attention. King Disease two was kind of, uh, but I think Hit Boy stepped the production up. Myself personally on this third one, and I think this third one, man, I yep, think yeah. it really. It, it, it really pushed it. It really pushed the envelope for me, man. As far as the production and what he really could get, and especially for his down south and west coast yeah. audience, right? Um, I mean, I think a lot of times, you know, Nas is one of those guys, like you said, like we know he got bars. He's one of the illest to yeah. ever do it, man. But to me, it sounds like he's battling with the beat a lot of times. Right. He's not flowing yeah. with the beat. It's like he's just trying to out. He, he's trying to outdo everybody. He's trying to outdo any other artist that's yep. going to rap. He's trying to outdo the producers, yep. everybody, yeah. you know. But this one, I think it flowed really yeah. well, man. So, yeah, yeah. That, that King Disease King. 3, that KD3, yep. that, yeah, that, that's a great yeah. one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, man. He was, uh, he, he came in, like you said, he didn't disappoint with bars. He was he would tell us, tell stories. You know, Nas is a big storyteller. He would tell us stories. And it was like, man, okay. And then, like you said, Hit Boy stepped the beat, stepped his production up. And man, he had, uh, especially that one with, um, what caught my attention was the one with uh, the five heartbeats. Oh, yeah. He had a track with the, like, he sampled <laughs> yeah. the five heartbeats. And I was like, man, how you going? When, you know, mm-hmm. when he started to, the intro, I was like, damn, how you going to flip this? You know, and then he just kept it, man. Then the Nas just came in. There. I was like, oh, that's yep. it right there. That's it. But yeah. So uh, that was my, uh, that's number five, I guess. And man, I'm gonna go with uh a number four. I'm gonna go with my boy from the Bay. Man, spaceships hey, on the blade with my boy Larry yeah, June. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I gotta have to go with, <laughs> I had to go with Larry June, man. Larry June. So you might not know, man. I I my I first witness, and I'm gonna say witness because I actually witnessed him perform okay. before I actually heard any of his okay. music. Um 
I went to the Step Brothers Two concert, God. Um, and they went on tour with Lido and um, and Don mm-hmm. Tripp. And man, he came out. Man, he had a lot of energy, and he was doing his yo. That was when he was big on doing his Yosemite Sam. His you know, yes, his sir. Yes, sir. and all that. Yeah, man, and me, me and my guy that that I went to the concert with, we were like, man, like, who is this? You know, I seen his name on the on the um on the performance yeah. list, <clears throat> but I was like, man, who is this yeah. guy? But what I will tell you is, after that day, I went back and I listened to some of his music. I was like, okay, he's not so yeah. bad, you know what I'm saying? So I kept up with him, but dude, I promise you, I can't remember the first. I, was it? Oh man, which was I can't remember his first album that I actually really paid attention to, but it's probably been about five yeah. or six yeah. projects. I'm probably about five or six projects <clears throat> in with him, man. But he yep. is yeah. dope, man. He's yeah, hella yeah, dope, man. He's hella good. dope. And the more he, more music yeah. he do, the better his his um, flow yes. patterns become. The easier it becomes yeah. to him, man. That's yeah. dope. That's, That's dope. I love it, like, man. You hit it, you hit the nail on the head, man. It's like. You get watching this progression, like damn, okay, he was, he was dope, yeah. but now it's like okay, now you can better. see him getting better and better, you know, with the, everything. How you, yeah, B selection, how he's uh, putting the albums together, putting songs mm-hmm. together, and it's like okay, and he keep it authentic, you know, yeah. like the he he, that's a big thing. It's like, you know, so he he keep it all. See, and I didn't know, I even didn't know that until now that you just said it. I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, it's like. I didn't uh, know that. Like the youngster, like my little cousin, he was like, uh, cause he heard me, I was calling somebody and I was like, yee. And they was like, oh, you trying to be like Larry June. I was like, man, we've been doing that since I was like in middle school, man. Like <laughs> that's just a big thing. And he just, he's just you know, exposing it. Yeah, he exposed it from, to the world. He just the to element the world. he took. Yeah, yeah, he took it. yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. dope. Larry, that's Larry dope. June, that's Larry June, my guy, man. Yeah, organic everything, man. Hey, I'm really, I'm, 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 I'm really, a, I'm a good fan of, um, of yeah, Larry oh Larry, Larry June, <laughs> yes sir. So that's my what was that number four? So number three, I'm gonna go with my uh, another another hometown guy. I'm gonna go with Simba. Simba, what was that? Goat. I, I Goat. told you about that album. I'll tell you about yeah. that Simba. album. Did you, I actually, did you listen to it? You like? I ain't yeah. listened to it yet. Yeah, hey, yep. you put it. You put it in group me yep. too. I think you I asked, asked um, Frank to like you. anybody yeah. listen to it. I was on a road trip. Hey, I was on a road trip, and I went and put it in. I listened to it. I listened to the whole album all yeah. the way through. Yep. I was like, "Dang, okay, he's yeah, nice. Simba, Simba, nice, Simba, nice." I heard him like a couple years ago, like a, a featuring on somebody's track you know, from the uh, from the Bay, and I was like, "Okay, dude," but it's like then you didn't hear nothing from him. But he, but he yeah, said he was ghost writing, writing yeah. like he was writing for people. So, and then when he came back out with this one, you know, he had a lot of backing. A lot of people was like, "So, yeah, Simba," you know, another. You know, he doesn't give you that that Bay Area um all the way. Like if you listen to him, you'll think mm-hmm. he's from somewhere else. But but yeah, Simba's mm-hmm. nice. I like his bars. He his bars and his production is solid, but I think I feel like he holds his own with his with his uh with his yeah. bars. Sometimes also. guys like that because they um I feel like when they go and they get on uh flicks and they do like these they have a crazy cipher, you know what I'm saying? You kind of yeah. just always get to, oh, you, yeah, know he was on flex, time, you huh? always get the cipher, but you don't ever get the music to kind of back up the cipher. You know, in this project, I think he backed up the cipher, you know what I'm saying, with some solid music. Yeah. Like I said, he sometimes these guys who do be writing for everybody else, they probably just don't be super solid because I think they give their best work to the other artists. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they probably yeah. don't, don't necessarily always come out good, but that Simba project came out good. That's why I, po- I popped it in the chat. I was like, man, y'all listen to Simba yet? I was like, yeah, it was a pretty good album. Yeah, yeah, Simba, Simba did, uh, he didn't disappoint at all, you know, so uh, that's my number three. Number number two, number two, I got to go with my guy Spitter with, in that continuous with, Al- with Alchemist, right? That guy Spitter, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The continuous, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, it, is, it just, it was different because, you know, Alchemist just went over, like, a lot of his new, new uh, his latest productions, I'll say, Sometimes a lot of times he don't put the kick drum in it now. Let it don't it just be no kick, no eight oh eight. It's just mm-hmm. the the loop or whatever you find. Maybe a cut some hi hats and man, Alchemist man, he 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 always keep just just you know Alchemist been out way back with Mob Deep, you know Mob Deep when he first that was, but now he two thousand twenty two twenty three about to go into he's still finding these samples, finding these with these 
I'm like, damn, man. And then they be they yeah. be cold. They be cold. And just be Carson riding. Come Carson in with riding the, it, yeah. yeah, he just be riding it. I be like, boy, hey, hey this this shit cold, man. Curse, curse be fun. I mean, I wanna. All right, go say this producer. I'm. I'm. When we get to the <laughs> producer, I, I I bring this dude up. But uh, yeah, man. Um, yeah, that continuous was nice. It's just the all the way through. Uh, you know, you can't miss with Alchemist and Currency, man. Currency gonna give you that. That means to kick back to like how it is outside. It's raining outside. You know what I mean? You can burn something, you know, whatever it is, some tree or some c- a cigar. You can burn it, turn the continuous on. And this is going to give you that, like that, like you listen to some jazz music or something. You know, it ain't going to, you know, if if, if you're trying to, currency ain't going to, not too much, ain't going to give you nothing if you're trying to, trying to get hyphy or something. Nah, he ain't going, that ain't the guy to listen to. But yeah, that, that continuous minute production was on point. And uh, currency, you know, currency the spit is always gonna give you that, give you something nice. And my number one, I know Meech already said it, which is that CIA. So we ain't got to go too much in that. Meech said it perfectly when he said, the CIA, <laughs> I mean, not CIA, but with the Freddie Gibbs. Uh, yeah, Gibbs. Uh, man, Gibbs is always uh, Gibbs always been man one of the even right now like my top my top three artists. If I'm just gonna just pop in something, it's gonna need to be currency. Larry June or Gibbs. They're going to be my guys I'm going to listen to. Just anything. I can, man, I done listened to them tracks a hundred times, but I'm, I'm still going to listen to them like, man, this 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 track called. And yeah, that that Gibbs, man, like he did not yeah. disappoint with uh with the album, man. And man, he got some, he got some, man, on that production, man. He got, man, Jake One. Man, he got, he got some, he got that one with, uh, with Ross on there. I like one of my, so CIA, is my favorite, right? Track. But Black is in the Room is my number two. Black yeah. is in the Room yeah. is legit. Black is in the yep. Room, man. Yep. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> like I said, Gibbs, man, he got, man, he got those bars. His production is always, I was, I wasn't sure, but I was kind of, um, did he have a uh, track that was produced by, um, what's dude who did Pinata? Who produced Pinata, uh, did the beat? Mad Mad Lips. Lips. Did he have, did he have a track with Mad Lips? On the, uh, I don't think Mad Lives did this. I don't think he did one on this joint. I, right. I don't think so. That's what I, I don't thought. think so. I have to go back to the, the song list to see, but I don't yeah, think so. That's what I thought, man. I was like, man, you know, Gibbs is nice, but I, I feel like Mad Lives is 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 Gibbs uh Metro booming with with twenty one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Mad Lives and, and mm-hmm. Mad Lives and Fred, <laughs> Freddie Gibbs go go nice together. You know what I mean? So. They do. Hey, they that was that was a pretty solid yeah. list right there, man. You got Gibbs, Currency, Simba, yes, sir. Larry June, and Nas, man. That's a really solid list. I don't know how I can, you know, compete with this list, man. Y'all boy got some got some heavy hitters on there. <laughs> Although I got a couple of the same, but you know, I gotta switch it up a little bit. I gotta represent for the South sometimes. So, man, I'm gonna kick out my top five yes, for the year. Yeah, number five. You know, saying what you're talking about with that that currency continuance, like that album was hard. You know, him and Alchemist, like I'm not gonna go deep into it. You just talked about it, but it just seemed like when him and Alchemist get together, man, like they just create timeless music and they just always kind of like they just really yeah. don't miss. You know what I'm saying? When them two get together, they really don't miss. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all too. Go ahead, go I was go gonna ahead. put I didn't mean to interrupt you. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was gonna I was gonna put down uh drive in um hey, that was a solid app, that was a solid one. And the thing with Currency, he put out so much music that it's hard to choose from because he put out, you know, he's not like on a normal uh, artist drop date. Like, I'm only going to drop one this year. I might drop two, you know what I'm saying, if it's lucky. But he's like, I'm putting, he's still like in a mixtape type era, like, feel, because he always like putting out, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, because he's independent, he put out so much more music than (laughs) anybody else, which probably, he's probably getting so much more back on the back end of his music. That's probably why. You know, because at one time he was yeah. saying that Alchemist was not mm-hmm. used to, you know, mixing music and putting it out as fast as he did because he's been used to like putting music out, go get a mix and master, and then it come out later. He's like, nah, man, we're putting this out tonight. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's yeah, put the merch yeah. behind he, it. Let's go. He said that. So he got yeah. a different he, was, he, he said that like with Wiz, like, because you know him and Wiz close. And he was like, you know, Wiz is on the major, right? He was like, man, Wiz, get on that bus, pretty much talking about the tour. He might make a meal. On in one tour, but he said it might it might take me two or three times to make that same amount of money 
because like you said, because I'm independent, independent and I don't have he no had the major backing behind you know him. I mean? So yeah, so he that's why he put out a lot of music and we enjoy it. And we we kind of come to expect yeah. the music from him at a faster pace. Like if he ain't putting out music in a you know every couple of months, we like, man, what's going on? Why he ain't putting out no music? And he be happy, he be he stay feeding the streets with his music, which is a right. good thing, you know what I mean? So that yeah. Alchemist album will continue. Uh, like I said, nothing, no no particular order. The number four, I know we talked about that Pusha T almost dry. You know, I you know Pusha T one of my favorite artists, man. He gonna come with them bars. Yes, sir. You know, he gonna come with the nice beats. He can pretty much get on an East Coast beat, down, a beat, down South beat, whatever kind of yay or, you know, for real kind of cook up for him. He can kind of get jumping them pockets and kind of get them bars. Sometimes, um, sometimes the beats that come from um, for real kind of throw me off. But if you, you got to like listen to the bars and kind of find a pocket when he finds a pocket with it, and they're kind of like, okay, I can get it. But it takes me a listen or two to kind of get it sometimes. Uh, yeah. For real, gonna hit you with that singing. Hey, he did that. say in an interview, he said that um, Pharrell told him when they when when he had to, when it came to doing his part of the um, of the album, he wanted him to be more of a character. He said he didn't just want just the the ebbs and flows of just like the rap that he mm-hmm. threw out. He said he wanted to be more of a character. So if you go back and listen to some of the tracks that um, that Pharrell did. He was more of a character, and um, his one main track, the um, the call my bluff, the one that I was talking about. Like you could tell, his cadence of rap was just totally different, and just like he was just more of like a mob figure in that. So, um, so you definitely right. Um, it, it definitely throws you off, and you definitely got to listen yeah, to you do. the the lyrics yeah. and stuff. To really kind of pinpoint and that's a good thing I like about it. If you make it well, listen, you gotta like slow it down and listen to it, listen to it, play it again and listen to it. Cause you can't just get it on, you know, a lot of these new music is just the 808, the kicks, and it's just like because mm-hmm. they punch in, a lot of them just punch in, but you can tell rappers yeah. who punch in versus who by actually mm-hmm. probably write their music. Cause they actually you can get the you have the um the cadence and then you get the the metaphors and you know what I'm saying you get the flows yeah. and you know what I'm saying you you can tell yep. when they just be punching in because they go you can and, hear the breath yeah you the can hear the breath yeah yeah the, you know, the triple like, entendres you can just see you can hear it because a lot of these new rap they just punching in and you can tell when they punch in punch out punch in punch out you know what I mean and then they can't do it live because they yeah. you know what I mean they can't hold their breath ain't ain't, ain't ready yep. for that and and think about push what I like I think push might be one of the top five storytellers of all yeah, he time. Can, he can put a story. He yeah. gonna paint you a vivid yeah. picture yeah. of everything. You know what I mean? It's like, and and no matter, everybody said, oh, he gonna just give you that crack music. But every his, album, you line. know what he gonna give that's, you? That's his line. And it's gonna be cold. Yeah. Like, man, he gonna switch it up. And it's like, damn, that's yep. cold. Like, how he giving us the same music, but it's not yep. the same. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. talking about something totally yeah. a little bit different. You yep. know what I'm saying? So, um, so that yeah. push it almost drive. My next one, I got to represent for the South. Uh, that yo got it, man. That CM10, bro. Like I really was that that jump with the replay value. That's like his best album. I'm not gonna lie. Like he, I've listened to Yo Got It from since you know that's what's up. Like way back in the day, you know what I'm saying. But he's never been able to put an album together. He always had those mix, those classic mixtapes, and then when he tried to do an album, it just don't work out the same because I think he'd be hamstrung about a about a label or whatever. I don't know what it is, but he just can't put an album together. But the CM10, man, he went hard on the CM10 with the side A and side B, especially with, you know, he kind of addressed the doll situation a little bit in the album, you know, kind of make it seem like he ain't like he ain't had nothing to do with it. But besides all that, man, it was a really solid project from your guy, man. Like I have never heard him on an album this good. Like the mixtapes, yes, but the albums, no. This album was was probably his best album to me. All right. I gotta check yeah, that yeah, out, that's man. CM10. I, you you be, it's been a lot of people. Uh, you've been like the fourth, fifth people that I personally heard that said that about his album. And I like your guy. I just never yeah. got around to listening. And so the, I've never. So I'm, I'm gonna check it out and today. The thing I'm, is, I'm, I'm, I'm the album came on. out at the top of the year, bro. Like the album came out like early, like January, February, sometimes if I remember correctly. And that album just held through the year for like mm-hmm. top albums for me. And I actually go back to that album, and because I got I got mm-hmm. title. They always like throwing up those songs off the album on my playlist, so it, it constantly kind of keeps me it's, like. It, hey, right, right. Another thing, should we throw Yo Gotti up there for like maybe exactly hey, year? Hey, he got. Then he, he signed. Got the, what is the name? He got, Glo- he got Glorilla. Glorilla or he got Money Bag, and then up on the Money Bag, he got yeah. you know what I'm saying. He got um, Big Thirty. You know, Money Bag got Big Thirty, and then Big they 30, that's yeah, your boy then, right you there. know what I'm saying. Then he got <laughs> he got a couple of other artists in there. You know what I'm saying, but he got. 
Uh, you got the no, boy from Detroit, the ESTG, ESTG, and then he got um boy from Detroit. Uh, you know, yeah, what I'm saying he got boy from Detroit. Man. They got you know, what I'm saying so he got a solid roster right now. Like he got one of the one of the best rosters, and Memphis pretty much putting out some of the best music yeah, right man. now. Memphis kind of holding the game down right now. They got some really good yeah, artists. Memphis got, yeah, a lot of Memphis music. got some of the hottest artists right now. So they've been like since you know you know YSL and they whole the issues that's been going on with their cases. They should be ashamed of themselves, man, because they. They took out the coldest one out of Memphis, man. You know, I, yeah, I, dog, I, yeah. I, I my guy, yeah, young you know, dog, dog, yeah, guy, yeah, paper man. route. You know what I'm saying? He just dropped the album with paper yeah. route. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just listen to them. That Memphis is at Memphis music just so good right now. I don't know if it's just because it's so so much in the trenches up down there in the south, but them boys, them boys and girls, they hey. putting out some dope music out of out of Memphis right now. They got a dog. They got a dog so, poster. Uh, Big billboard in downtown. They Oakland. got an SFO. I seen his big. SFO too. They got a big yeah oh, for the do? album. Yeah, for his yeah, album. Bro. SFO. Yeah. yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Man, I'll tell you, like, I was I'm with you. I was with Got It. Man, I remember Got It first album. Uh, uh, not album. Well, album and track that he hopped on when he was like 16 with Kia okay, Shine yeah, when they were yeah, with like, TBT. <laughs> um, so I've been doing Got It since yeah. you know he was a kid like us. Um, but I ain't gonna lie, like I kind of fell fell off with God just because he kind of moved on, started doing other stuff, and he wasn't really yeah. putting out music that regularly. Then I kind of fell in love with Dolph. So it was kind of like you almost kind of like with him with his absence and him making you you know choose like yeah. what music you really wanted to go to. I knew Dolph was gonna put out two two maybe three albums or or projects a year. Yeah. So I can always yeah, depend yeah, on that. And sure. it was solid, right? And I think what, what, what... <clears throat> so I kind of ventured over to paper yeah, route versus yeah. staying with yeah. CMC, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, Gotti always that yeah. has made I think what it was, music. he was more moving towards the executive role. And so I think that's why he was like not putting out a lot of music like he would because at first when he was doing that mixtape grind, he was putting out so many mixtapes. But then when it, when it started to change the streaming, he was kind of, you know, holding back on the music, kind of to put on his albums, and then he started pushing more money bag, you know. So, so he getting behind, getting behind money mm-hmm. bag a lot more. So he, he wasn't putting out a lot of more, a lot of music. And like I said, Dolphin just came in there. And he was just like, drop an album, drop a project, drop a mixtape, drop another project. You know what I'm saying? And so he just kept that going, especially when he got on the run with him and uh, what's his name, uh, Key Glock. When he got when he got with Key Glock, so he dropped like mm-hmm. two or three yeah. projects with Key Glock. So he was just constantly feeding the streets with music. So that's I think that was a big thing. Yeah, that dumb. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that was a big thing. He started yeah, getting with, with Glock oh, and he was just putting yeah. out a lot more projects. So I think that's kind of like with overshadow overshadow because Dolph be talking that talk. You know, Dolph gonna talk that talk. So um, it's Dolph. It's Dolph, you already know. <laughs> so uh, your guy that CM10, then I gotta jump in there with that that Nas that King Disease three. You know that King Disease man like. Yeah. He just hit boy, you know. He just found he found a partner, a, a producer to kind of lock in with. Because I think a lot of times, a lot of these artists they be getting these beats from all they get beat packs from all these different people, and yeah. then you try to yep. make an album out of fifty songs and don't sound cohesive. Versus like back in the yep. day when these artists were actually in the they was in the booth together and they working hand in hand, they creating these tracks like the producer created right there on on the spot, and then the, um, yep. the rapper go in the booth and rap on it versus. You getting three or four or five beats from one one producer over here, another producer give you five beats, and then you picking, you know, picking all these beats and it don't sound cohesive. But this one right here was like yeah. a really solid project. And he just been on the run with with um with Hit Boy. It's gonna be kind of funny kind of see him with his next project to move away from Hit Boy if he decide to move away from Hit Boy and see how it go it, it either go up or down. And then to kind of tell us, is it True. was it more Hit Boy or was it him? And we'll kind of determine was it Hit Boy or was it him? He should stay with Hit Boy. You know boy. what I'm saying? Like he should stay yeah. with Hit Can boy. you continue? Can you keep you know elevating with the same with the same producer because he been putting out some solid projects. Like he brought Nas back. Like you know Nas was like, we- well, you got to think like you said though. You said like the artists back in the day. So I'm just throwing the name out there. So like you say with Juvenile or Hot Boys with Manny Fresh, they continue to put them out uh, with Hit Boy. Yep. I mean, with um, solid project, Manny Fresh. So, so. I, yeah. yeah, I think he can do it. To be honest with you, I would like. Yeah, him like to I said, switch. you got three out of. I them. mean, yeah, I, you got three you know, of them. after a while, yeah, after a while, you know, you kind of you kind of know what to expect now. Um, you know, um, Hit Boy's not gonna switch yep. up too much from what he does. You know, right? 
So, and then he's getting a bigger name. You know, Nas is really putting him out there as mm. like an, uh, a producer to really, you know what I'm saying, to go to. I would like to yep. see him and Alchemist get together yep. and do some stuff. I would like to see him and Harry Fraud, which I know Harry Fraud is slowly going mm-hmm. down a list when it comes to as far as like top producers. Man, I'll even throw Static Select out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, just because it gives a different feel and Al, Static, they're giving you that new New York vibe, that new Griselda vibe, BSL vibe. You know, you you getting all you you getting all that music, all that great music that's coming out of New York. You know, hey, why not throw the greatest artist from New York on a track? You know, on, on a couple tracks and put a project out there. So I think something like that. Yeah, would be it's gonna be it's gonna be too, it's gonna be you know? nice to see who he who he rock with next because, like I said, he didn't got three projects out of Hit Boy, and it was some solid projects. And to keep doing, it, I think it'll dilute it at some point, and then you'll start having to like, oh man, it's kind of falling off versus yeah. leaving at the peak. And then rocking with yeah. somebody else, and then we'll be able to. Because three, a solid three is a solid a number. You can go back and through, be like, you know what, man, I'm 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 headed to Mississippi, so shoot, mm. I can ride and I can listen to, you know, these three albums, yeah. and you know, yeah. Tennessee. And I'm not saying like, he can't grab know? a couple of beats from. Um, it's time to switch up from from Hit Boy, but just the whole project. I think it kind of it's time to kind of like grab somebody else and see if they can kind of, yeah, it can switch it up and get a d- different sound. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you get tired mm-hmm. of the same sound yeah. over and over and over. Because, yeah. you know, like I said, Hit Boy going to make those type of beats where you know it's going to be Hit Boy type beats. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. And then my top one yeah. got to be that that Larry June, Spaceships on the Blade. Yeah. Man, that jam went, yeah. hey, hey, that was a flop. Hey, bro, that was a flawless, that was a flawless <laughs> album. Flaw, it was a flawless album, bro. Like, yeah, I seen that. One. I don't know. I, I I did. I heard an interview. He talked about. He said he only raps two hours a day, which is really strange. Like that's strange for a rapper to say he only rap two hours. Most rappers that go in, yeah. you know, eleven, twelve at night. They all all night in the booth in the studio. Yeah, six, seven, to seven o'clock in the morning. He said, man, I got a schedule, man. Like I go in there. I got my mindset. I'm rapping two hours, and then whatever I, I don't have. Yeah. I'm done with it. I'm going kicking with my family. I'm doing what I got to do. Go get me some boba tea, whatever he want to do. You know what I'm saying? So that album just like, <laughs> I like his offbeat rapping, but on the but on the beats that he rap on. You know what I'm saying? I know that sounds strange oh, because yeah. he rap kind of offbeat yeah. sometimes, but the beats that he rap mm-hmm. on, it sounds so good. It just sounds so good, man. And he just kind of, he just put a, a, the, the production was on it. The, the, nah, it was sonically, it, it sounded good. And it just really wasn't no bad tracks on that album. Replay value, the replay value high. You know, yeah. a lot of these albums you listen to it one time, and you're like, ah, you may give it a second listen because so much music come out so fast. You may get yeah. a second listen, but this one, man, you just like let it, put it on, let it play, press play, let it play all the way through. Get in the car. Next time you get back yeah. in the car, you start it over again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It. So the replay hey, value. They just dropped, like you said, he dropped. He dropped one. I know y'all, y'all might not listen to uh, yeah. Jay Worthy, but he that. dropped one with Jay Worthy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. I, promise you, I was gonna mention yeah. that. I was yeah, like, "Well, nice. I don't want to yeah. get off track." Yeah. But man, that that him and Jay Worthy yeah. when they did that that joint together, man, right. that was and, sick. And that I like sick. how he rap about things yeah, in the yeah. city that you know. Like he, he rap about Sausalito. He rap rapping about the bridge. He rapping about different streets in San Francisco. Like he rapping about stuff yeah. that you can yeah. visually, you know, because yeah. we living in the Bay, you can visually see and you've been there, so you know what he's talking about. So it kind of like you know brings it brings a home a homey feel to the album when he nah, starts talking about those I things and how he be. He he has a, I, he has I a got a question. Have y'all been to one? I don't, I don't really do boba. Yet. I haven't been to the shop. Yeah, yet. I haven't been to the shop yet. But I want I want gotcha. Yeah, he do. He got a boba shop in the city. I don't do boba. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't uh-huh. do boba. Yeah. Hey, you're, and I like how Larry June always been on a healthy tip. He he gonna I'll, hit I'll you with a boba smoothie here once in a while. Get it on the flavors. Organic. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he talking about. Yep. Oh yeah! No, nah, I just like he man. I'm yep. just getting up, folding my clothes right now. I'm orange, back in my house. Like, you know? yep. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you be like, man, I like him. He be talking yeah. about his expensive <laughs> stuff, like the expensive flexes you uh, be talking about. Yeah, like, got, yeah. I got this five hundred dollar toaster. You know, the yeah. touchscreen toaster. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Yeah. You know, just stuff just off the wall. That's what my orange is twelve dollars a cup. You know, you like, oh, I got to get a touchscreen toaster. Okay, okay, that's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, he just, he's, he's just, he's just <laughs> yeah. dope stuff, man. So, 
Hey, and he yeah. got an orange farm too. Oh, like, yeah, who has an yeah. orange yeah, he, he farm? All the way bro, in. Like, I like the tiny <clears> desk. Crazy. The tiny, he did the tiny that's desk crazy. Um, thing. That was pretty dope. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? He really getting a lot more, he getting a lot more exposure. I think that's what's really helping him. You know, he kind of pushing. And when he start working with other artists he got, and you know, he got Cardo. It's gonna be Cardo, gonna bring a different man, you know, feel and I didn't know I knew Cardo really. from just listening to Larry June and uh in uh Spitter. Yeah. Hey, I didn't know talk. Cardo was doing tracks with like Drake and all them too. And Jeezy and Jeezy and them. And I was like, damn, he did he did tracks with, with Drake and Jeezy. Hey, I just know Car- but man, that when when yeah. June Larry June get with Cardo, hey, them things, hey, it'd be cold too. It'd be cold. Yeah. So oh, man, yeah. that's my oh, top yeah. five oh, yeah. artists. That's my top oh, five yeah. albums of the year. We all, I think we all had some solid, some solid albums. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna hit this one. We're gonna jump off. We're gonna uh, pop off the hottest artists of the year. Uh, who we think that kind of kind of plays the trill you know, this year? I mean, you know, my hottest, hard, so is hottest artist of the year is gonna go with your hottest artist of the year. my album. So you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm so I'm gonna run it down. Uh, no, no, it's not in any order. You know, I'm gonna say with currency. One of the hottest artists, you know, we all know what, what, what currency I'm getting, you know what I mean? Because I'm in the Bay, you know what I mean? I like to indulge in, in a couple, you know, some trees, some time. So, you know, that's my go-to guy. I'm going I'm to right. I'm throw some, some spit on and I'm going I'm to I'm roll up and we going, you know, I'm going to just chill out, you know. So spit is going to be is one of my guys. Uh, Spacious Larry June. Yee! Larry June is, 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 is one of my top artists, man. Uh, hold on, go back to currency, though. I think like currency. I think currency dropped three or four albums this year. You know, he dropped three or four. So, yeah, yeah. So it's like, man, he he had dropped an album. Then he had drop a remix to the album that he dropped yep. a couple months yeah, ago. He and, and like you said, <laughs> uh, Drive In Theater Two. It's like, man, made me go back to listen to Drive In Theater One. Like, damn, okay, he got the, you know. But um, yeah. So, but go back, Larry June, uh, Fred Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs is, is is one of my guys, and this is gonna be uh this is gonna be this is gonna be a, a new one. Um, I don't know. He didn't drop an album just with the features though. I'm gonna go with Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss this year was on was on was on. Jada Kiss was doing his thing, man. I like the one he did with. Uh, I don't listen to DJ Khaled like that, but he got an interlude with D, on DJ Khaled album, and that's that's my favorite track on the album. Uh, I think it's called like Welcome to New York or something like that. Jada came on there and did his thing. Yeah, yeah. So man, I always like Jada Kiss from back in the day. I always thought he was the best out of the trio I with the locks. That but then, yeah, I think that you know, started listening. That's when we was young, right? You know, middle school, high school, whatnot. But then, you know, Styles P came up with the currency and then he started, you know, Styles P did a lot of tracks with currency. So I do love Styles, but so Jada is uh Jada Kiss is one of my guys. And um, man, and I gotta go with Nas too. <laughs> Nas is this year. Nas was one of uh one of my top top artists of the year because I think didn't he the King Disease two come out last year, or did he drop two this year? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I knew it was. Yeah, yeah it was a, I got you. It kind of think it was late. It came out last. Year. I think it was fourth quarter last yeah, year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Year. I knew it was close. Because like, it was like fourth quarter. Well, yeah. And then so he those were my. Them, so it kind of made those were my like top five. Like I said, it kind of go, uh, go hand in hand with my top five albums of the year with my my artists. So, you know, those that's what I got. Yes, sir. Dope. Dope. Ooh. All right, Meech. Let me hear what you got for the hot hottest artists of the year. Let me hear. Okay. Man, so, all right, so I kind of dibbed, I, I kind of dug a little bit, y'all. Y'all gonna laugh at me when I say this, but I mean, speaking of which, when you mm-hmm. say a hottest artist, right? Man, first, my first one, because I only picked two. Um, Ooh, and one is big a glow. One around, but <laughs> hottest artist right yeah, now, yeah. man, I, <laughs> I'm gonna say glow, oh, man. Yeah, she, I'm gonna say yeah, big she, glow, glow filler, man. Yep. I gotta throw a lady in there, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, listen, for what that young lady has done and her project, her project is solid. She's nine tracks on there. Man, she had a really Mm -hmm. solid project. And to be honest with you, I've been in a club. I've been not necessarily a club, (laughs) but like a lounge or something and just sitting around and a glow song would come on. Dudes be over there bobbing their head like, dang. Then they look around like, 
Yeah, you got the Man, catch I ain't beat. even supposed yeah. to beat. Yeah, I ain't yep. even supposed to beat. Yep. You know, bobbing it is. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's what you see. You know, that's what you see when it's out there. And what I will tell you, because she is a female artist, I really feel like her, her grind, her everything. Meaning, like mm -hmm. the way she do her music, everything. I don't think she she doesn't really have a machine behind her. Her singles have a machine behind her behind her, but. I don't. I think that is a. It, it was genuine. I don't feel like I felt with Meg the Stallion. Meg stuff had that big machine behind, it and it felt like man, I was just forced yeah. to like Meg the Stallion. Like you know, her music. Her music is okay, you know, but it ain't. To me, it didn't feel like it was authentic. It was just like, oh man, she's okay. the hottest new female artist, so you gotta play it. You gotta play it. You gotta play it. You gotta play it. Whereas Glow stuff actually sounds. Yeah. Good. You know what I'm saying? I got a question. I, I missed you. Y'all listen to Glow. A bit brought deeper. up Glow. And then when you question, see her, so you be like, this, wait a minute, that was you? It's a clip with uh, Waka's, is so, it Waka's mom? She, was, she used to manage Gu Gucci Man, and she was talking about how... Yes, 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 exactly, yeah. So she, yep. you know, she she said something about how... Uh, Bimmy, uh, hip -hop, not Bimmy, but... Uh, uh, it, was uh, all about, it was all about sex yep. in, in their body, this and that, right? It was messed up. She said messed it up. Right. Yes. Yes. So is Glow on that same train? Not, she, I mean, that was on no a Mad Hoffa. That was on my is, is she, is she? Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, to me, she's not. She. I mean, she's a woman, so she's gonna talk about some of this stuff, you know, in a in a feminine way. Okay. But no, man. She she talk about. She talk about things right. that she went through. Right. I mean, gotcha. she, she do talk about relationships yeah. and stuff like that, but it ain't glorifying, you know what I'm saying, selling, okay. you know, selling pee, yeah. you know what I'm saying, selling pussy, however you want to say it. But um, it, it doesn't okay, really, dope. it doesn't okay. really, you know, so, that that statement yeah. doesn't really resonate with, so with you her got, and you? the way she's doing our music. Yeah. Cool. So you had on. Uh, Cool. Oh, I got one more. It's all good. My bad, my bad, my bad. I do have one more on there. This one is a personal for me. I don't know if y'all have really took time to really um, to listen to him. Um, I'm sure if y'all are deep off into um, podcasts, listen to podcasts, I'm sure y'all have heard Joe okay. Budden talk about him as being one of the top artists, you know, that has come out for the Ransom? year. If y'all are okay. not listening to him, you need to listen to him because he is coming in yeah. and coming in hot. Ransom. Yeah, I've heard it, but I, I, I got I, I ain't got oh into a lot of his music. But I have been hearing some things about him, like like I said, over different podcasts and stuff. Oh, we man, when I tell you bar for bar, he he up for you know what I'm saying in my eye for you know like true lyrical hip hop artist of the year, and that's with a Benny and Conway. You know, um, or a 38 uh, special, 38 speech. Um, he up there, El Camino. I'll throw El Camino out there, although he do, you know, sing and stuff like that. But Ransom, to me, man, just the way he, you know, does his beat selection, the way he goes. Yo, the process now that you say that, I'm looking through projects. my playlist. Man, man, I do have him on one, the Band of Brothers. The next, in the next year. I so. never, he was going, man, I was like, who is this cat? He was spit. Okay, okay, that's good. I'm going to check him out. Appreciate that. He said that, Meech. Yep. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Dude, man, when I tell you, man, like, and he just released a mm -hmm. he just released a project like two weeks ago, and man, I was stuck on it for like a week and a half. I just finally just moved off from it, and I think it was because I was I was I was on a plane, okay. I was flying, and I was doing other stuff. Let me check him so, out. So, man, you when out. I tell you, uh, ransom, ransom is that guy. Be on the lookout for it, man, because he coming. He coming Ooh, hot. Dope. That's a total bliss. Uh, for my hardest artist of the year, you know, like I said, it's kind of go along with my my musical listens as well, albums. I got to go with the Nas, man. You know, he 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 brought a lot. He he brought a lot, man. You know, what I'm saying these <laughs> these last two to three albums have been like some of his best work. Yeah. And I've heard more people talking about Nas now than probably in a long time. You know, what I'm saying like Hit Boy really kind of put him in the limelight. It kind of brought him back with those beats and just that music and solid projects. Like he put out two super solid projects. Like I said, it came the last one came in the fourth quarter, I think last year, and then he came with another one this year. So it kind of blended, made it feel like it was all this year. But I just feel like 
the way his yeah. music circulated this year, I don't think it ever really circulated like it has, you know, because people are like, man, now I'm still doing music. And then now you hear him, you hear his music, hear people talk about him on podcasts, like I say, a lot of a lot of different podcasts and different things like that. For him to still be 20 something plus yeah. years in the game and still kind of be relevant and still having music put out like that, I think that's pretty dope. And then, of course, this is probably consensus. Everybody right. probably, you know, I go back that Drake, man, Drake just put out, you know, he's been active. You know, he's been active on features, he's been active on albums, whether you like the album or you didn't like the album. But he just been he been super active this year. You know what I'm saying? He came with the her loss, and then he dropped the, the Nevermind, and then the one before that was Certified. So it was all like a, a trilogy. I felt like those albums were like a trilogy almost. It's like uh, Certified Lover Boy, Nevermind, and then her loss, and it just felt like a trilogy. And I just felt like he was super active. He he got he went crazy on that Jack mm-hmm. Hollow that Jack mm-hmm. Hollow um joint. <laughs> I forget the name of the song. Yeah, Church Here Down, bro. Church he just he down, murdered Jack on that joint, bro. Like. Almost like almost a verse of the year could almost bro. He like he featured bro. He he murdered Jack on that joint, bro. Like, hey, listen. So funny that you bring him up. I did not bring him up, but for a hottest artist and album, hey, Jack, hey, Jack, hey that's he hey, I told, he was he, hey, that he was fighting his way in there. The Jack album, he's like, oh man, I ain't really listening. I'm like, man, but Jack, you know, what I'm saying? I think the the previous album was better than his last album because I felt like he's trying to be more. You feel like the last one? You feel uh-uh. like this last one was better? <laughs> oh no, no, no! Yeah, the the, like first the first one was great. The first one was good. It was really, really good. I feel like that one. It was ain't touching the second. I felt like it was a little yeah. low in the beginning of the album of this one. It was like a little bit low, and then it kind of picked up more, more midway to the end. Like you know, but the first one it was just like the first one. It just like it okay. flow all the way through. But this one it was like the first three or four, five tracks. Yeah. It was kind of real low. And then he kind of got in. He kind of got into it when the um it was that Lupita Lupita. I forget the name of the track. I gotta I gotta check I gotta check him up. In there. I gotta started, check him out because up, I remember man, this had thing. to be so I think about the last five years ago. That. I remember no, he no, was no, no, uh, no, that's right because you know I follow a lot of engineers like music engineers and producers too. But uh, Enos K Y Enos out of um, two chains engineer, right? And then. Um, I remember I, I was following him because he always mixing two chain stuff and two chains be in the studio. But he's okay. he I remember him posting mm-hmm. as now Jack Harlow, but always just white dude was in the studio. He was like, Man, he's next up, he's next up. And I was, you know, it was like, Hey, it was this dude, and he turned out to be Jack Harlow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, I remember listening to Jack Harlow back in 20, is mm, either 2017 okay. or 2018. Yeah. Um, Drama brought him on oh, yeah. to Sway in the Morning mm-hmm. for him to do a cypher. He did the Five Fingers of Death there, yeah. and he killed it. He killed it. Yeah, he, yeah, um, yeah. It, it was dope. It was dope. But, um, yep. yeah, he's been around for a minute, and he's been yeah, He was in that Uzi shadow. Really well. I think that was a problem. You know, he was, so, they, you know, because Drama got Uzi, so he was kind of like in, he was kind of like in Uzi shadow. But he had to find his find his lane. I think he kind of found mm-hmm. his lane, and then he kind of started making music. And then yeah. he put that put that Drake yeah, feature well, on there. And Drake just went crazy on that church here down on him. Just went crazy. Like, like I think Drake probably I, Drake probably got three extra minutes on that joint than than Jack did. You know what I'm saying? Like he just like he just like like you know how sometimes <laughs> did, you know how Drake do, did, do Ross did, like Ross get like thirty he get like forty five oh, seconds yeah. on the track, couple balls. And then Drigger combined like on that what was that um, Gold Roses I think yeah yeah, yeah. Like Gold, Rose, yeah. Gold Roses Lemon Pepper or no oh, yeah, like Lemon, Pe- Lemon Pepper it was it was one of the two. or like, he'll do that to Ross he'll, he'll let Ross do like you know a minute and then he'll come back like, he'll do <laughs> yeah, like four yeah. minutes behind Ross yeah. like like why you do Ross like I bet Ross like why you do me like that bro <laughs> don't put four minutes yeah. behind him he did the same thing to Jack. Hey, one Jack thing I want to say about Nas though I know y'all go Nas I feel like Nas is like the only one but you know our era right. When we was young that's still doing music and it's like high level music you know i know you know it always the, the debate of you know rapper being old right and it's a young man's game and then you have jay-z come out saying why is it okay for rock and roll artists to still be doing this at 50 plus right and now you but you we have nas to where i'm like man i remember now we was kids not and he's still putting out music and it's like and it's in this and it's not music yep. that you know what I mean? Like some older art. There, there is older artists doing music, but I feel like they try to cater to the young crowd a lot. And it's like, Nas is like, nah. Yes, but Nas is still speaking to us, you know? Right, yeah. right. 
He's speaking to us. He's speaking. He's speaking to us. He's speaking to his. He's speaking to his generation. He's speaking to well, his generation. I yeah. think he's speaking to his generation. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I think though. I, I do think he didn't get his flowers early on. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. I mean, just because. I mean, man, like I was explaining to you guys earlier, like man, Nas has been a dope MC forever, but man, um, after the maybe <laughs> I Am album. Like a lot of his music just felt like, you know, yeah. he was pulling out a, you know, yep. a dictionary. Let me see if I can wrap around and, his word. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, yeah, or an that, you word. know, or something yeah, or right. some sort, some book just going yeah. through it. Yeah. And just, you know, and, and people just like, man. And then right. the he, production right. wasn't that the great. Beat. It was just, right. you know, you just trying to listen to what he's beat. saying yeah. over a horrible beat. And it's just like, man, can't, um, I can't vibe to this. Like, I can't vibe it was to this. Just, like, I can't vibe to this. Weird. You know what I'm saying? You know, we know his music ain't club, yeah. club music, but you still want to be able to listen to it in the car and vibe to it. And it's just like, it's too New York. That's what I'm saying. That's how it be. It's just like, it's too, too New York. Like, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of those artists be like, too, like, at first, I wasn't like the biggest Griselda fan, but then because it was like so, it was like New York. And then I had to like, okay, let me just take, man, the, take respect it off, Benny, take it down a notch. Let me just listen to it a little bit more. And I start listening to Benny, and I start listening to those guys. I'm like, okay, I can get, I can get with it. You know, so I can get to it. Like I can get, I can get with it because you know what I'm saying. They got the bars and then the beats a little bit. You know, sometimes they might drop a a, a, a down south beat it, a beat in there. You know what I'm saying? Where it kind of relate to it. But man, Yo, sometimes B. that stuff was Yo, just B. like, nah, I was just Yo, you that B? New York. I'm like, bro, I can't get with this. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. no, I'm with, you. I'm with you 100 on that. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, man, that wrap up uh, uh, a good, solid, hot artist. So, yeah, we're going to move on to our next one, bro. Like, I really like that. I want to see where you guys go with this. We're going to go with the feature of the year. Let's go. Meach, let me hear what you got. Let me get let me hear what you got. One. You got one feature. Let me hear your feature. Man, feature listen. 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 Y'all going to laugh at me again when I tell y'all this. But I really think mm -hmm. this feature really helped catapult her career. Uh, we just got finished talking about Glow. I think when Cardi oh, B hopped yeah. on that tomorrow and how she came in, man, I really think people really gave her a serious look when Cardi B hopped yeah. on that tomorrow yeah. track. And for that reason, I had to put her as the hottest feature. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, Carter, she can, she can get on some. Hey, what hey, you say? Hey, what I'm saying? I say, Carter can jump on some and really put some bars on it, bro. Like, she, it's crazy how she's only put out one album. Yeah, yeah, and she got She's hot as she is for just one album, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Well, no, so she got two. She got two albums oh. now. She oh, released okay, one right, this right, year. Bad, she released bad, one this bad. year. Yeah, he did. Yeah. It was just yeah. how she was just, she was just riding. She was just ride, bro. Like, for just an album, I'm saying before she dropped the new, the new one, I'm just saying before that, she was just still hot off that one album, bro, just because of her features that she be hopping on. She be hopping on, I think she hopped on that City Girl feature. Yep. I think it was that City Girl feature that she hopped on like a while back, maybe maybe a while back. She dropped on that City Girl feature and mm -hmm. put that out the moon, put that, you know, shot that to the moon. She just can jump on features and just like make it go do numbers. So with that being said, I have to fall into another. I know it was just one feature, but I had to I had to throw this on here because he's in us he's in the headlines so much and we talk about him so much right, but we don't give him the accolades when he need them right. So on her um, on her track that she released her single from her album this year, um, that hot shit with her little dirt. Damn, I ain't heard and that I one. Gotta give him his props when it's okay. due. Kanye, Let me check that one out for his feature on her joint. That was the old Kanye on that joint on that hot shit. <laughs> Kanye was rapping his ass off on that. Now speculation, because Kanye hardly ever writes any music anymore, whether it was his his pen you know, or his writing or, or not. Okay, I'm gonna check that one. He out. spit it and he spit it and he went he went hard. Nah, I remember I heard that, and I really really liked it and um. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I I heard you, about you it, but I, that one was, I never the, the, I never uh, checked it out. The track hot shit with um Lil Dirk and, mm -hmm. and Kanye on that joint. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> it did, it did best. Yeah, you gotta go check it out, man. Yay, yay, that was the old yay. That was the old yay. Okay. I guess he took his medicine that day. <laughs> that was that was old yay, bro. That was old yay. 
So I had to throw him. Uh, I had to throw him and Cardi B in for features of the year. I know there are a bunch more out there um, that were really that yeah. were really big, but I think those were significant just because of what he has been going through throughout the year, which yeah. we, we'll talk about. I'm assuming we'll talk about that, but also what Cardi B was able to do for Glow too. You know, to okay. give her that female yeah. and male audience that she has. Man, you know this saying, this this has got song. not gonna be by so popular uh, people, demand right, as they say. But uh, let's go. man, I'm gonna go with my boy DJ Paul on that Freddie Gibbs album. I didn't man, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with my guy DJ Paul, man, because man, P Y that P Y S. Ooh, oh, I don't know if y'all okay, heard. I know okay, you heard it, Meech. Okay. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Man, you got to you got to go check that out, man. Cause uh, man, you know DJ Paul no, produced that track. Yeah, of course, of course, and, I have. man. <laughs> DJ Paul came in. I was like, okay. Hey, I listen. Hey, even though Freddie Gibbs is my guy, I listened to that track mm-hmm. just because mm-hmm. DJ Paul. You know, and I mean, it wasn't like he was spitting nothing crazy. Like it wasn't like no crazy bar. I ain't gonna say that. Yeah. It's just his energy. And, and man, this is DJ Paul, <laughs> man. You know, like he came in with with man. Yeah, you got y'all got to check that out. He said, "Man, this is yeah." DJ Paul to me, to me had to had the verse of the year for me because yeah, he was he was spitting on that. Y'all got to y'all got to check that check that out. Yeah, yeah. You do doing his thing, <laughs> dope. All right, and then I drop my feature of the year. It's probably gonna be like more the mainstream mm-hmm. one, but. It just cut through, man. I think Jay on God did. You know what I'm saying? When he, when he can Jay drop that drop that feature on God did, it cut through. It cut through, I bro. Knew somebody it, it was cut, gonna man, bring it, it up. Cut through. It's just like <laughs> he don't drop. He don't give us a lot of music, but when he dropped that, he dropped on that God did. He just gave us them bars, man. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what it is. He just Jay overrated at this point, man. Go away for Jay six, eight this months, point. and then all of a sudden that, just him pop this. up on some, and you just like. <laughs> Hey, but them, I think, hey, but I them, think it's more but the them, fact but them that people got Jay was spitting. Like, I was like, <laughs> it's cool. Nah, but he, he always he always he always can get Jay on his project. Like Khaled, Khaled can get him on a project. Um, who else? Uh Jeezy, Jeezy, Jeezy can get him on a project. Get him on a project. Like he still no, no, I mean, people, no, he you know, does, but it's like out there, but, a lot you know, of cats, can always kind of get like, on project. Like, I don't like, think that's a yeah, hard push problem. Push get him on, right? Push get him on a on an album, and Jeezy has get, gotten them all, but he's not as active, right? So I feel like, like you said, he's him not being active and him being considered to, in a lot of people's eyes as the goat, greatest, you know, of all time. You know what I mean? Because the unfortunate deaths of Pac and Biggie, right? So now he's the you know what I mean? It's Jay. So it's like now he's like Jay don't put out albums like that. So if somebody like yo, I got a Jay verse, that's automatically right. gonna trigger like, ooh, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the million right there. You know? Yeah. That's what I mean. Even, that's okay, what about the one? Yeah, but he, right, but he, he delivering. It's not like he's not delivering yeah. though. When he do hop on something yeah. though. He be delivering. I was like, man, he could have left Jay off of that. You just let Nip go the whole time. But I think it might have been a. It might have been a. I think it might have been an old. A, I think it might have been an old feature. Yeah, I think it was probably. It was just an old. Yeah. They had released it, but you know, what I'm saying you can kind of tell there was. A, it was an old verse that he probably had and it took for a while. You can tell because some of the, some of those verses you can tell when somebody had them and it took for a while versus it being current. And I think that one was a little bit more of an older verse. So you know, but because like when he talked about yeah, me in the verse. So you knew mm-hmm. he was. You knew that was kind of current because he just got Meek off of. Uh, Meek had just got off a of, uh, Rock Nation, and then he talked about he freed Meek from the. He'll never have a beef with Meek because he freed him from a bid. So we knew that was a very current verse. So you know, I just think sometimes yeah. verse some older. Yeah, I like, verse, I, 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 I take the, as you can see right there. It just, there, it just I got cut I don't know. It just I somehow got Jay right through. there. So I like, I, I, yeah. you know, but yeah, 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 yeah Jay's up there. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we're not, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not, debating, no we're not, deb- yeah, we're not yeah, debating his greatness. I'm not debating his greatness. I just know that, that that verse kind of just like it just cut through because he's not punching in, and then you just heard about he how he just did it in one yeah. take. You know the the the, the folklore yeah, of how he yeah. just do you know write no music and he just do them in one take. So it was pretty hard to me. I just like the verse. Yeah. 
And push and plus, you know, Cali gonna push yeah. push a song. I like, like I like young Guru. I think like uh, you said when it catch a little least. traction, he gonna was go that crazy. Guru? He was in the uh, barber shop. That was Matt Hoffa's. So, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he is my expert opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's a dope interview yeah. too. I learned a lot yeah, about yeah, him yeah. too, man. I, that's a one lot. of my favorite. That uh, guy's been around my for a whole, whole lot of stuff. Lot of stuff. Lot of stuff man. Man. Who was my favorite engineer, man? He, like you said, he yeah. been with Jay back way back with what Reasonable mm-hmm. Doubt and all that, and it was just like you said, he's seen a lot. A lot of artists come through. A lot of the you know, whole Kanye mm-hmm. when you seen him a couple of times in the G, in the Genius of uh, mm-hmm. Netflix. Um, thing with Kanye, you see Guru up in there, and yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, Guru is that, is that guy? Yes, sir. Man, definitely. So man, we're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap up that hardest artist, and we're gonna move on to our what we, uh, one of my specials. I love yeah, this, yeah, this hustle yeah, I award. Go. We're gonna do our hustle award. You know, me and Wallace, we've been doing this hustle award for a few years now. Man, man I like, I'm going like to like, I like to see what people Russell. Do this one. So, out of Richmond. Man, Wallace, me I know, Vallejo. Award. I'm sorry. Out of Vallejo. Vallejo, yes. La Russell, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. solid yeah, album. Yeah, Vallejo. Solid, yeah, yeah. La solid Russell, yeah. Vallejo. 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 Solid man. album, too. Solid How he album. D- d- man, out of the solid box, album. man. He, man, out of his garage. Then he went to the backyard, put the gazebo back there, put the whole stage. Yep. Man, he's selling out, uh, selling shows from the backyard. Out, and uh, it was mm-hmm. like, man, just, I've never seen anybody do it like he done it. You know what I mean? Just, like you said, independent, you know, uh, man, just, 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 just love how he, how he do it. Like I said, his mom, he got his mom and pops in there doing it. Got his homeboys, him riding down the street in the back of a dude's truck. Just, just doing, the, you know, just just rapping, and man, always in his Crocs. I mean, he's one of the reasons why I wear Crocs right now. I'm like, this dude always got Crocs on. Are they that? Are they that comfortable, man? So I put the Crocs on. I'm like, damn, these things hella comfortable. For real. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So my that's my my yeah. hustle, man. La Russell, man. I mean, yeah. you said everything was organic with this dude, man. For what I seen, like I said, and and just how he just continued to like just break the mold and do it different. You know, he he doesn't have a set price for shows in his backyard. It's like, you know, I'm going to give you what you want to, yeah, pay what you want. If I give you a great show, you yep. think I'm going to pay me what you think pay I should get. Pay what you and pay man, what you every want. Every time he pay did, especially want. in the summertime or in the spring, man, them backyard was packed, you know, and man, he he do it. His fan, his mama and dad, you see his mama and dad on the side, grilling yep. while they're in the show, he feeding people out there. Well, I'm like, man, yeah, this is, this was, this is different, so. Yeah, it's just different. Yeah, it's different, bro. Like, and he, and the thing is, crazy. I think he's. I, I heard him on crazy, an um, interview on in the podcast. He was talking about how he's gonna be take that whole model and he's gonna be, you know, going around the country yeah. and having different people. Like, they may go in somebody's backyard. They may have a backyard that they can use. They go yeah. in somebody's backyard, a field, almost like a festival type field where he can just take the show on the road and move around. And that pay, you know, pay what you want type of model. I think that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, cause he was, he was, he was breaking it down. Yeah. He's like, man, his dad was kind of like, man, you're not going to make no money that yeah. way. He's like, man, people, he's like, yeah, some people going to give me a dollar. Some people going to give me $2. They're going to be them people. Some people going to give me $50, a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to, it's going to even itself out versus trying to set a certain price at something. And you're not necessarily meeting that threshold. Mm-hmm. So I like his whole, I like his whole model, how he been doing it, which I think a lot of, cause he said he talked to Russ. Yeah. Because Russ was an independent artist too, and so just he got a lot of little games from Russ. They kind of working out Russ too, so not making it out to a couple of shows. It's just you know, different, man. Now you know what I'm like, saying? Like, it's just different. Great. I mean, it's out of here now. I'm like, damn, damn. You know, like back when he was just doing it, when he was still it's, in the garage, he didn't even it's make it to the backyard yet. I was like, man, I need to get out of here. You know, right? Yeah. So that's my. Yeah. 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 It's out of here, man. That's a dope one. I like that one. I like that one. It's a really, really good one right there. All right, Meech, what you got, Meech? Man, so when you said that, like I said, we we had to talk it out, right? Man, I I, I want to venture yeah. from the Bay. I, I really, 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 really do. I mentioned some stuff earlier to kind of throw hints of who I was going to say. Man, but I love Larry June, bro. Like the hustle, yeah, the grind. Sure. The way when I listen to his music, it makes me want to get up and just, you know what I'm saying? He like, man, anybody can do this, bro. Like, you know, you just, you know, put your hustle on, you know what I'm saying? You do it. 
and you know you grind. Um, I I'm gonna tell you one of my one of my favorite artists that I listen to. I wanted to I wanted to mention him, but he doesn't yeah, really yeah, have yeah, anything yeah. outside of him yeah. hustling his yeah. music going on right now, which yeah. is um, Eastside P. Yeah, 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 these go, yeah, go hard. Yeah, these go hard. These go hard. Easy hard, but you know what I'm saying? So his music kind of do the same thing for me that Larry June does. But man, like, dude, I would have never thought in a million years yeah, a rapper would be talking did, about yeah. having, uh, you know, an orange farm or uh, or orchid yeah. or, or however you want to say orchid. But, um, yeah, so um, you, you those things you don't, you don't come across things like that. And man, I think mm-hmm. people should really just sit back and really just think of so many different things that they can use their brand to come up with for things for the betterment of our people. You know what I'm saying? Not not trying to exclude anybody, man, but dude, if you just think about, you know, just the just the logic, just the thought process, right? And I'm grew up on the west side of Starkville. So man, just think about like if you going into on the west side of Starkville and kids haven't eaten any vegetables in in a month, two, three months. And what I mean wow, by that is they're eating, yeah. right? So they eating burgers, you know what I'm saying, with just ketchup, cheese, you know what I'm saying, and, and mayonnaise on it, and then hot fries with cheese on it, and they're good, you know, or they'll go and buy some snacks or juices, and they're good. And their mama asks them, have you ate something? Yeah, I just ate, you know, whatever. And they go on about their business. They eating chicken mm-hmm. tenders and fries. Things like that. But when I see a guy like Larry June talking about, man, I'm opening up a juice bar, uh, you know, or his boba bars or, you know, a, a orange farm. It's like, man, like, well, yeah. if he can do this and make it great, like, man, you know, great somebody juice. else can, yeah. you know, shoot, <laughs> start mm-hmm. producing yep. lettuce. And, you, you know, we always yep. talking yep. about green. Sure. You're getting that green, man. Yeah. Hey, here we go over here. We really getting green over here. We growing yep. our own lettuce back Black here, home. homie. You know, just different things like that, you know. So, man, I, I just big ups to him, bro. Everything he's doing, yeah. and just yeah, you know, him I, having I, that yeah. third eye open and thinking yeah. outside of the box and bringing yes, something yes, sir. totally yes, sir. organic, yes, like he yes. would say, totally hey, organic to hey. the game. So, uh, Larry that's a dope one, man. That's guy, a pretty bro. dope one. I like that one. Me, I'm gonna do a little bit different. I know we talked about it earlier. I'm gonna go yeah. with Snoop, man. How he bought back Death Row. Like we thought we'll never see the day with Snoop buy back Death Row, man. That's you know hard. what I'm saying? For mm-hmm. all the stuff he went through, you know, being off the label, going down to no yeah. limit, making all them classic, you know, all that classic music with, you know, Death Row with Park and all them boys, man. Outlaw sure. just making all that music and then for it to go left and go, you know what I'm saying? He he leave the label, Park die, mm-hmm. he go to no limit, he get with P. You know what I'm saying? Try to revive his life, revive his career and all that good stuff. And then, you know, years later, you know what I'm saying, to go back and buy the label back, you know, that was like one of the man, that was the one of the at one point it was the hottest label in the country. You know what I'm saying? It was most the one of yeah, the most so feared gold, labels in the country. Like, area you weren't messing that, with right? Death Row, yeah. man. You weren't going out on the West Coast and you weren't yeah, messing Death with Death Row. Bad boy. Yeah. Well, no man, that was that golden era, man. You know what I'm saying? You, know what I mean? you yeah. got you got Dr. Dre, you got Dr. Dre. Bad boy, no limit cash money. Yeah. And so, man, like for him to be able to, you know, after, um, uh, after sure get locked up and go through all the issues and stuff like that, for him to be able to go and just like take ownership of that label back, you know what I'm saying? Because he talked about how he took all the, the, uh, his streaming, all his music off the streaming services and he's just going to upload it like to, like, uh, what did he say he wanted to do? He's going to re-upload it, but it was going to be a way that he could make money from it. Because right now, they make basically yeah. nothing from streaming. You know what I mean? You got to stream a thousand times for a penny or a half a cent or something like that. But he said he was going to find a different strategy to yeah. kind of re-upload that music, mm-hmm. you know, so they can like in the, maybe like the metaverse or something like that or whatever he decide he's going to do to try to make some money off his music and stuff. But, but if he got all that park, if he got all the park masters and all that type of stuff, bro, like imagine if he's just like, like get stingy with him, like, hey, look, I'm pulling all pop music off all platform, all all death row music yeah. off all platform. Yeah. What they would pay and what we would pay subscription for to go listen to that music. And that came out of so nowhere I think too. That like, was pretty, I think that was pretty. A lot of times you hear you get take, rumors and stuff like, that, oh, uh, Snoop Stu- doing label. this. Man, just all of a sudden, like, yeah. oh, Snoop bought death like, rows. Like, damn, okay. Yeah.
you like like yeah, for real because you I thought sugar never let that go. You know like what I'm saying? Trying to put, as much he, you know, much he for, much blood <laughs> shit over at, during that labor time, that era, for him to you know what I'm saying to go get it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, like that that, that, that that was the most feared label in the country at one point in time. And so that was that's my top that's my top uh that's my hustle award for the year. You know that's a big one for me. So now we're gonna move on to I know this Wallace probably Wallace favorite right here. We're gonna move on to the top producer award man. of the year. So we're gonna let you. We're gonna I know this is one of our favorites. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna let you kick us off. Let me hit you. With, uh, uh, hit me. Hit me with I'm your top you producer. You know Wallace. I can give you ten off the bat, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you just three, man. Uh, so I know no particular order. <laughs> I got to stay with my boy, Harry Fraud. Harry Fraud, you know what I mean? I, I, love, I love Harry Fraud. Man, a lot of people, they say, oh, man, his beats are slow. Like, they all the same. Man, man that, hey, Harry Fraud is, is, man, he did stuff with Jim, mm-hmm. like Jim Jones, I think it was last year, man. And, and man, he always do stuff with, with Spitter. Um, he had stuff with Larry June. Man, Harry Fraud, so, hey, uh, yeah, I think he had something with Benny the Butcher, a couple, couple of them, man. Harry Fraud, nice, man, so. La Musica Harry, Fra- Harry Fraud, yeah man, Harry, Harry Fraud. Be- La Musica, man, Harry, you know, uh, Musica? I'm, a, I'm a big, I'm big into Harry Sample, Fraud. so yeah, I love, yeah, you know, Harry yeah, Fraud. I tag. love this little here, his his uh his album that he did, and just go and try to find a sample. Like, damn, where did he get this sample? And listen to the original. Like, okay, that's what. Okay, that's how. He, okay, you know what I mean. So, that's that's one of um, of course, you know, like yeah. we said earlier, got to go Alchemist, man. Alchemist is just it's just one of the man. That guy, man, that guy when it comes to uh, producing, man, and and I mean, hip boy, man. I'm I'm, I'm going hip boy. You know, I just I just yeah. uh, even going back to when he was signed to Kanye, and then that whole whatever falling out or this that not working, he kind of kind of went off went off the you know went off the radar for I want to say what like a year or two. He really didn't hear from hip boy. And then he just came back. I don't know what happened to get out of the contract, or was he just free, or what happened with him and Kanye? Kind of why he why he was pretty much sat down for a couple of years, but man, he just man he just came back with just boom, man. He was doing stuff with Nip, man. He just, just came back, man. He had all of the LA artists was like with Nip, Game, uh, and it's like even the not the biggest LA artists yep. like uh, Don Kennedy was still, still coming with with, with Hit Boy and this. I mean his range too. Like I said, his range with, with I yep. think they said he had something like he did something like what Beyonce or something. And, and like I said, yep. yeah, Drake, yeah, and then all the way to Dom Kim. Yeah, he's done it all, bro. Yeah, Drake, yeah. Everybody. He's he got a everybody. recent one with I Currency. I think he even produced Rex in the. I think he produced Rex in the middle. If I'm yep. not mistaken, I think he, he just released one with, with Currency this with, year. Uh, with Neil, you know what I mean? With, he's sitting out there yeah, with, with, with and, Currency, uh, low riders, and, and it's like, man, hit boy, man, he just, he just, and yeah. he just. And his his range of like he could sound he could do real West Coast he could do real West or he could be like so a real big like oh damn that's Nip I mean that's uh that's Hip Boy yep. you know so yeah those those is my uh my top three my top three yeah and I'm gonna give you one more yep. man just off the I gotta go with Cardo Cardo on the beat Cardo got wangs you know that's what I mean solid. yeah man Go-hit. so Cardo's always uh, Cardo. Cardo be on there, man. I love I love Cardo, man. I don't, you know, Cardo got Wayne. Those are my my <laughs> see, I can keep going, but I'm I'm stuck right there. Those are my guys right there. Hey, so that's what's up. So let me get it. Let me get them top producers. Uh Meets, give them to me. What you got? Oh man. All right, so he kind of he definitely took my you know my one. Mm-hmm. I did mention one another one, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him behind this one, yeah. right? So of course he mentioned Alchemist. Al is like Al is that dude, man. Al can Al range is just insane, right? Um, his sampling just you know oh, is, yes. is, is second to none. Bad, but... <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with band Let band play. play. Let the band play. So, band play, man. You know he was at one time, so he did both of the Dumb and Dumber mm-hmm. joints for. Uh, he was um, Dolph's executive producer, right? So he did, you know, most of most of their stuff. Um, he do a lot of different things, you know, across the spectrum. Mm-hmm. But man, like I really love those those projects that he did. Um, 
and static selector, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Since I can't really harp on, you know, my guy Alchemist, I got to go with the next static. Static is legit. Static deals with a lot of older um, artists um, that, you know, are able to, you know, get out and, and do different things. Um, I will tell you. Oh, yes, time, sir. Um, yes, sir. Rock is hard. Yes, sir. Rock is hard. That may yeah. have fallen off your radar. While yeah. I know you know Rock Marciano. Um, <laughs> So Rock Marciano, um, man. So I'm a huge fan. Um, it's two years. It's uh, yes, yeah, yes. two years behind now. But um, man. him and Stove God did a project together that was insane, 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 insane. Um, but um, I love I love a lot of stuff that he did that he do too. So those are my top um, outside of Alchemist. Uh, band play, uh, Rock Marciano, right, right. and uh, Static Selector. Uh, can't throw Pharrell and, and Kanye yeah. them out there because those are super producers. They work with every anybody. Yeah. They work, I mean, yeah. most of them guys really, they just like, man, I don't, I don't even want to work with you, so I ain't got to work with you. They get to pick yeah. the pieces of what they yeah, do. Yeah, those, so. those are some of the, you know, so cool. some of the, the goats in the game as far as those producers. They've been around a long time. They produce a lot of different music. So we try to get a little bit more of that underground, yeah, some of the not so mainstream music. So, man, those are so, those are some super dope um, producers that you guys put out there. And plus, we all kind of listen to the same music. So mine's, of course, going to kind of be kind of similar to y'all, but I'm going to kind of throw a different one in there. You know, no particular order, but I'm going to throw yeah. out there, you know, ATL Jacob, man. Like, I like ATL Jacob this year, man. He produced half of, I think he produced <laughs> yeah. half of uh, yeah. Future's yeah. Uh, last album. I think, uh, what was the name of the album? Uh, I Never Liked You or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that, yeah, I Never Liked You. So he I, produced, never you. I think he produced half of that album, and he's been producing for a lot of other, like, a lot of other artists, man. He's been, like, doing his thing, man. He kind of stepping out in the forefront. Yeah. And I think he, uh, did he drop that album this year, or was that Metro? I know it was Metro. So yeah. So he's been doing his thing. You know, um, I really liked um I really liked him this year, man. He he been doing his thing. And I think he's gonna be one of those one of those uh producers that we're gonna look at um that's gonna kinda help prepare, you know, the South a little bit. You know, because right now with YSL kinda locked up and you know, nah, wanna right, just get now. Right, 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 oh, you like, thing that's right? really, you know, pushing right now gotcha, is baby. Gotcha, you know, gotcha. little baby. I like that. I like that. Like I forgot his name. He was like, It's cool when they do it. It's a problem yeah, when I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he from Memphis? Okay, okay. I didn't know where he was oh, from. Finesse. Yeah. Finesse, he from Memphis oh, though. He from Memphis. Yeah, he from Memphis. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, Finesse, that's, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, that's why I, I thought. He, that's why I thought. He, I thought he was from Texas. That's from Memphis. Yeah, he was from Rock Hall. Yeah, it's kind of kind of strange how he okay. got that deal okay. when he went. Nah, he got he got the, he got he got a, he linked with Mob Ties, nah, but then he got money yeah. bag at the same time. So it kind of weird how they got the thing structured. But yeah, finesse two time, he go definitely hard. Oh yeah, finesse go hard, finesse go hard. But yeah, ATL Jacob, yeah. and then the consensus I do the round robin with that. The consensus Alchemist, of course, you know Alchemist always yeah. doing his thing. You know <laughs> currency, keep it laced up with currency. I don't know if it's more currency or if it's Alchemist. Yeah. I don't know, but. I don't know what it is. They just get they got that magic, bro. Like when they get together, they create magic. You know, I don't know who I don't know who to get. A, I don't know who to get the most. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's fifty percent. I don't know if it's fifty fifty or fifty forty nine. Yeah. I don't know who to get it to. But when they get together, man, it just they create magic. I don't know how they do it, but they consistently can put out good music. Yeah. And then of course, like the last one, uh, Hit Boy. I just think Hit Boy has just been on a, on a roll. He been putting out some really good music, and I think people kind of slip on Hit Boy. Like I said, when he had yeah. the whole thing that go down, where yeah. And he was kind of laid low for a little while, like I said. While I think they just kind of slept on him, and then he just came back and hit you over the head with them three Nas projects, like, like three solid. They won a Grammy albums, together, didn't they? Bro, like, or maybe just to bring boy. to bring Nas back into the forefront of the music okay. uh, industry. Just, yeah. I think I'm they got a Grammy okay. for okay. King Disease. I think they got a Grammy for King Disease. Yeah, I think. They, well, nominated, they yeah. Or they got nominated. Because I, I think he did King Disease 1, 2. And he did, Ma did he do Magic 2? I can't remember. Did, did he do Magic 2? Did he produce Magic? I can't remember if he produced yeah. it. Yeah. He did. Yeah, he, he did, did some Magic stuff too. on Magic, so, I know. know. Give him a little credit on that as well. So for him to be able to do three and a half projects with Nas, one of the one of the illest in the game, that you know, 20 years in the game to bring yeah. him back, I think that's really big. And like I said, he has that wide range where he can do some Beyonce, he can do Drake, he can do Nas, he can do Underground yeah. Currency. He can do whatever and make it sound good so i think that's pretty pretty dope man so man i 
Uh, 808 hey, Mafia. I'm surprised. 808 Mafia. I'm surprised yeah, that yeah. neither one of y'all they say are hard. They are hard. Um, they are none hard. of the 808 guys. Yeah, 808 yeah. Mafia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 808 Mafia. Yeah, 808 Mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think. Oh, they, I think they, I from, they from Atlanta? 808 Mafia? Like ATL Jacob and all. I rep them and all their bubble. You know what I'm saying? Because I think. Yeah, I think they all in Atlanta. Yeah, they all in Atlanta. Yeah, so oh, I think okay. that because 808 is I like so. the the brand, gotcha. and then they got a couple of sign uh, producers to the 808, um, 808, um, the 808. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's more than one of them. Yeah, it's yeah, more than one guy signed yeah, to them. So true. they produce all like baby. Uh, and they got Future, some they got some tracks with currency that that go Ghana, tough too. You know, all those guys, so they kind of yeah. like rotate, you know, with that whole. Yeah, and currency, and so they, 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 you know, yeah. what I'm saying they got their own um, Fruity Loop, you know, kick drums and kicks and all that, you know, packages and all that type of stuff. Eight oh eight kick and drums and stuff. So they really heavy down there, man. So that's why oh, I say yeah. ATL Jacob is like one of my favorites right now. That's kind of coming up, and of course you got Metro Booming. You know, he always kind of you know stick just he stick his he stick his toe in the water and drop some dope as well. So. I think, man, we did a great job, man, with this list, man. I think, you know, everybody has some, you know, some really solid taste in music. I can't wait to see what you guys listen to next year. But before we got out here, we know we got to do the, um, I always like to do the you know, pay our homage because we're talking about this, this rap game, this music. We always, you know, we've been losing some of our, you know, some of our artists this year, man. I got to say, gone too soon. We want to, you know, send our, and our respects yeah. and our, uh, man. send our heartfelt to, to their families, you know, take off, you know, he lost his life. Uh, we got PNB Rock, you know, how, you know, been tragic, lost his life really soon, quick. And then we got Trouble. And then the most, the most Dolph was this year too, wasn't it? Scar. So, you know, I want to pay our respects and say rest in peace to these guys. Oh, last year? Damn. You know, okay. These guys were part of our, I think Dolph was ah, 2021. Okay. Damn. It was last year. Like Dolph was late, last no, year. It was yeah. late November. Yeah. It just made, it just made it a November. year yeah. in November. Yeah, yeah. so November. I would throw Dolph in there, yeah. but I think I talked about Dolph <laughs> last year, but you know, always want to pay respect to Dolph as well. Plus, he got a new album that's dropped, so you guys go stream that. You know I'm saying go, that Paper yeah. Route. Paper Route Frank, make sure you all go, go stream that, that new album, which is really hard. I really dig that album, too. But, man, we keep losing some of our... We keep losing these artists, man, and it feels like it's just happening to our genre. It don't really... I know it happens to other genres, yeah, so but, frequent. You know, I always too, get man. taken so young. We've been getting taken man. from us so young, right? Riding their prime, like especially like takeoff. You yeah. know, he riding his prime. Yeah, yeah so frequent. Yep. And then P and B Rock had just dropped some. No, and then it, I think yeah, it's the way that it happens. Yeah, that it happens yeah, too, yeah. It ain't, right? it ain't like it's like yeah, car accidents yeah. or something like that. It kind of you know it's just been like you know murders, you know just shooting, and, you know overdose, and you know just different different stuff. But you know we want to go down that road, but we want to make sure we pay our pay our respect to them. So. Rest in peace to those individuals and our heart and condolences yeah. goes out to the family, man. Man, before we get out of here, I want you guys to, you know, throw your socials out there. If you whatever you're working on or whatever you got coming up, you know, you go ahead and throw it out there. So Meets, what you got for us? Man, so um everybody can follow me on IG at Mississippi Meach. That's um the word Mississippi underscore Meach on um IG. Um Right now, man, I honestly just kind of getting back into the groove of things, man, as far as from a work standpoint, uh, kind of took a hiatus, you know, sit back and, you know, and, and recalibrate things. Um, man, hopefully before the no, year is out, I can finally get back to work and, um, and producing my alcohol. I don't know if you guys noticed. I kind of kept it on the some samples. But um, that's something that I've really been, um, I've been working on. Yeah, man. So, um so hopefully I can finally get everything rocking and rolling and by before, hopefully if I set the date right, before my birthday, um, this upcoming year, I can take it to market and then, you yeah. know, hey, I can really, you, you know, you start go. seeing some things move. And, and, yes, sir. Yes, and sir. look, and, and move yeah, out I of the corporate. Buy, the goal. I, I buy some bottles, <laughs> man, yourself, That's the ultimate in, goal. That's the ultimate goal. Right, right, right. I'm right, trying to get there. Definitely. So definitely send us some yeah, samples, man. Yeah, yeah. man. Exactly. We'll yeah, buy some. Sure. We'll take Hell it to the. We'll yeah, buy some. Sure, take man. it to the cigar yeah. bar. You know how me and Wiley go see the cigar bar. We'll sip on at the cigar bar for sure. Yeah, man. For sure, man. Hey, and I gotta get out there too, man. I definitely yeah. gotta get out there to the Bay Area. Hey, I know I've been saying that for a while. Right like man. Soon man. We come out here, man. We come out here to the Bay. We'll show you around. Yeah. I got you. Oh yeah, it's going. It's rainy season. It's raining hot, heavy out here, man, boy. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Look, we need some it rain. It might freeze we down there the way y'all with that, with that winter storm down there. It might freeze up. <laughs> hey, 
it's it's like seventy five degrees it was outside now. Last week. Yeah, it's like seventy. That's it's crazy. seventy that's, plus that's outside. That's weather for you, bro. It'd be a winter storm one week and, and <laughs> yeah, summer. last week it was negative. It was negative that's seven crazy. and nine seventy. For you, man, and then the next thing you know, a tornado be coming through. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Man, how the so I'm gonna get audio alumni, man. man. Audio alumni, so all one got, word. Man. Audio you alumni, one word, word, man. How we you catch up with you and what you working on? Man, I don't really do man. I just like to sample, so I put some music out. I don't rap. I don't sing. I don't. But I love to sample. I have a lot of. I have. A lot of old records, man. Took my took my dad's old records, man. I go to the record shop and I go and, and, and dig those crates, man, and just see what I can see what I can find and try to put something together. I ain't no I ain't no uh, 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 Harry Fraud and them, but I just, I, that's just what I love to do. If I ain't playing Call of Duty and I got some spare time, I'm gonna be listening. Me and you ask my the family, I'm listening to some records, you know, looking at my phone and try to catch a sample. I'm like, ah, right, man, so. Audio alumni, man. Uh, I got some audio alumni. I got some on Spotify, man. Got some, got some stuff on there. And then, you know, like I said, just, just some, just a hobby. You know, just a hobby. I'm not, I'm not, you know, uh, not trying to get on here and say that I'm, uh, you know, now if I ever get there, you know what I mean. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's just a hobby. So that's that's all I do, man. I just. Uh, you know, that's why I love it. It's the Alchemist and, and Harry Frog because, you know, I, I don't know how to play, no piano. And so, but I'm going to sample the hell out of some music, though. <laughs> you know, so that's what I, that's what I do, man. So, yes, sir. <laughs> that's what's up, man. And you already know how I do, man. It's your boy, you know, Do Vision SF on all the socials. You can hit me at Do Vision SF at Gmail. I know you guys want to come in on this, so you sure, guys can always come and download. Me, but, you know, before I get out here, I want to say thank you to Meech. I want to say thank you to Wallace for hopping on here, man. I appreciate you guys for doing this yes, year-end wrap-up. Like Meech. I said, Meech had saw it once before. He's like, man, I got to get on it this year. I love that he came and jumped on there. check that boy he Meech out on Twitch, man. Different tastes <laughs> and different, different viewpoints of music and different things. And appreciate, appreciate you for having me. I appreciate you, Wallace, for hopping on. Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate Wallace hopping on here, too. Yeah, man. Hey, also, yeah, if y'all do... Follow me, hey! Follow me on Twitch, TJE thirty twenty four on Twitch. <laughs> you can check me out, man. I look, I'm going live. I'm going <laughs> in, getting some kills. Got some comedy for y'all too, man. The guys are hilarious. They will keep you on That's your feet, up, man. I swear. Oh, before so I get just, out hey, here, man, follows. I wanna, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna throw one, throw a curve about it, you guys, man. I want us to um, give me your mm, yep, your yep. top five. I want you to give me five songs. We're gonna put. I know, man, Wallace did it before. We did. I forgot to tell you, we did a playlist. Um, maybe the last two years we'll be doing we do playlists, so you know what I'm saying. So, Meach, give me five songs from your, your top five, you know, albums or whatever, and we're gonna do five a piece, and we're gonna put out there, um, that we're gonna put out a, a playlist, you know what I'm saying? Every year, me and Wallace, we so off of the top five songs well, that, well, I, I'm saying, that I, I, I gave album, earlier, all top five albums, maybe grab an album, grab a song from each one of those albums. And then just oh shoot. yeah 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 no doubt so I, I did some of that throughout throughout the process but I definitely will so for the Pusha mm -hmm. T the Almost Dry album hey if you get a chance go check out Call My Bluff Diet Coke and Hear Me Clearly uh, I know a lot of those songs you probably have already heard but um, the Call My Bluff is one of my favorite ones like I said he went into more of a character um, to really talk about some things yeah. that he had going on and you know that song was kind of like his release yeah. was like hey. Like, you know, I ain't with all that back and forth stuff. You know, I can see some guys over there call, you know, call my bluff, see my bluff. For sure. So um, that was one of the, that was, that was one of my uh, favorite tracks on there. For the Conway, God Don't Make Mistakes. That song itself, God Don't Make Mistakes, is kind of a walkthrough of, I don't know if uh, most of the people know who Conway the Machine is, but he got mm -hmm. shot in the back of the head and in the back of the neck twice. And um, he lived through it, but... He got Bell's palsy. But what he does throughout that song, he talks about, you know, actually what happened, what led up to that night, how he was at the hotel chilling and, you know, his couple of homies hit him up and was like, man, like, man, I really, we really want you to come out, celebrate on, you know, on the town. He's like, nah, I'm chilling. He said, but he don't even quite remember what made him change his mind, but he ended up going out and he actually talks, um, talks about, you know, what happened in the process. Dope. of that so that song is really dope stress <laughs> um can't talk about stress enough man us as young black men well, well <laughs> kind of older i'm over 40 now but <laughs> but
But, um, you know, that song is just talking about the different stresses that he's going through throughout his life just because people think he signed to uh, to Shady that, you know, he got this big deal. He got a lot of money to go mm-hmm. around, but he's stressed out. He got to pay, you know, he got to take care of his family, you know, some of his close friends, people that are around him, the stress of getting shot again, post-traumatic stress, different things that he's going through. And he talks about a lot of this stuff on that song. So moving along to Freddie Gibbs. Um, Gibbs has Gold Ring, which is featuring Pusha T on there. Man, it's just a dope yeah. track. You know, a lot of bars. Push did, I think. Yeah, yeah, he shoot, was going in. Did way more than a 16. I mean, he probably he probably had, he probably did a 32 mm-hmm. on that joint. So, yep. you know, if you get time to go, definitely check that out. More importantly, CIA. CIA does sure. not stand for Central Intelligence Unit. It stands for what the government gave us, which yep. was crack. Instagram and AIDS. So pay very close attention when you listen to that song because he dropped a lot of gems in there. So um the Drake album for <laughs> loss. Uh, yeah, you can throw it to us. Oh, give it to us later. Do you I give it to us later? Yeah, you oh, give it to us later. Don't worry. Playlist. We'll we'll because what am I? Gonna... Yeah. So um that's that's one and future as well. Um the future, you know, future is really one of the yeah. um the gatekeepers of, of the um. I ain't going to say he's a gatekeeper of the industry, but he has a stronghold on the youth today, man. So people have this stuff on play nonstop, so I don't necessarily I think I have to go through that playlist as well. But, man, just check those albums out. More importantly, Conway, The Machine, and Freddie Gibbs because they yeah. don't have a mass. They have a large fan base, but people don't really take time to really just fall through and go and check out Dude. their music the way that they should. So, man, we gonna, I'm going to put that together. We gonna, I'm going to have – because I use Tidal. I might do it on Spotify. And I'll link it, you know, link it up, send it out. And then you guys will be able to go to my Instagram, click on the link, and you'll be able to look at the look at the playlist and, you know, rock out to some of that music yes, that we've sir. been listening to, man. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say one more time, you know, I appreciate you guys for com- for jumping on here and doing this wrap-up with us. Thank you guys for listening. This your boy, Frank Nitty from The Sip. We out. <laughs>